Hey YouTube, it's April. Um, so I talked to you guys yesterday about my six month update and kind of gave you the rundown on that and let you know that I had a dentist appointment today. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was getting my temporary denture replaced with a permanent denture or if I was having another try-in. Um, and what I got today was neither of those things. Um, <laughs> So my dentist, like I said, my last try-in, sorry, I'm having a terrible time with this camera. Um, my dentist, you know, I wasn't 100% happy with my last try-in. And he said, don't worry, I'll go ahead and make notes of the adjustments and we'll get it right. And we'll have them form them to this new impression we did. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I didn't know if a try-in or a denture was showing up. Well, what showed up today was indeed a denture. And... It's freaking huge. Like, I mean, the teeth are fine and all that stuff. I mean, they look pretty, but like they were, they fit so bad that like even, they couldn't even realign them like to make it right. Like they were just so jacked up. So they did some like comparing and like the denture to the mold. What they did was my dentist sent a mold in for them to use and it's like the lab created their own mold, like based off kind of the one my dentist sent. So they took the actual model of my mouth and then modified it and then made a denture to fit that. Um, long story short, the uh, this side on the ridge didn't even touch my gums. This side, I mean, it was just bad. And in the back there was like, not kidding, like a quarter inch gap between the back and the top of the roof of my mouth. Like it was absurd. So, in the front, like, I have a lot of, you know, that's a good amount of material there. They had the front shaved down so low that um, if I smiled, you could see the top of it. Like, I, I just, it was crazy. So, my dentist was absolutely livid. I mean, livid. And, you know, the first thing I did was put them in my mouth and I tried speaking or doing, you know, anything. And I know you guys with the new denture that like things are going to be awkward and I'm going to have to learn how to talk again and there's going to be some of that stuff. But th like the one that the dentist presented me with today was just like unacceptable. Um, and I don't blame my dentist at all. I mean, it, it was clear there was two, you know, stone molds. And the denture fit the one the lab made. The denture did not fit the one my dentist made. And the one the dentist made is a replica of the inside of my mouth. So I don't know what they were doing. Um, but uh, if you've been following along, you know the lab lost my first pair of dentures. Like there was a bunch of just craziness that went down. Um, I've had try in after try in where like I've tried it in and then we've sent it in with instructions and then they've sent me back the exact same thing or even the dragon before, like it's just been crazy. So um, my dentist, uh, they were like, we don't, I mean, we're gonna have to start over. And um, so I think what we're gonna wind up doing is what it sounded like when I left the office, they're trying to sort it out and they're supposed to call me, um, is we're gonna wind up using a different dental lab to have this done. And I, like, holy crap, and, you know, like, I'm fine. You know, my dentist is pissed. Um, I have teeth in my mouth and I can eat. And are these the absolute dentures I want to be stuck with for the rest of my life? Hell no. I mean, they're great, but you know, if I get to pick and I'm out a bunch of money, I'm going to get something I want, you know? Um, so anyway, I was hoping I was going to be doing this, but with a uh, new teeth in there today, but that was not the deal. So um, you know, and given the, uh, the silliness that we've had with the lab, I was kind of surprised my dentist had them go ahead and make a denture instead of doing another try-in because this is not like the first issue we've had with the lab. So, um, you know, we're using the lab most local closest to us and now they're talking about shipping all of my models and stuff to like, um, Lander, Wyoming, which is like not close to me. Um, so anyway, uh, that's all I got for you today. No, no cool news. 
but not bad news. I mean, my dentist is really eager to make it right. So, I mean, that's great. And they've been nothing but kind and nice and, um, you know, really understanding. Um, the hygienist acted like, oh, you know, we'll make some adjustments. I'm like, you don't understand. They won't. I mean, these are not glued in. Like, they just come out. But for the sake, I can't eat with them without some kind of adhesive. But for the sake of conversation, like, I don't have to glue them in. They're not going anywhere. They'll stay in my mouth. These other ones, like, they fit so bad that if, like, I spoke or moved my tongue, they would just fall off. Like, it was crazy. So, um, that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I was hoping to tell you something cooler than that, but not today. So I'll keep you guys posted and let you know. I'm really eager to do, um, you know, a video comparing the two, the temp and the perm and all that shit, but, um, we're not there yet. So you guys have a lovely Tuesday. I figured I'd just come in and give you the quick update in the saga of my denture venture. And, uh, you guys have a good one and we'll talk to you soon.